Welcome to Online Philosophy. Oh, great. There goes the electricity. I guess we'll have to finish this video by candlelight. Someone must have forgotten to pay the utility bill. By the way, we refer to essential services as utilities because the government has determined that these basic services are essential to happiness, so their rates are regulated by law. This week's lesson in utilitarianism is related to that use of utility. In fact, the principle of utility states that we should create the most happiness for the most people. Throughout history, philosophers have sought to define and determine the source of happiness. One of the earliest and most persistent theories of happiness is hedonism. Hedonism is any philosophy that concludes that pleasure is always good and pain is always bad. Nothing that provides pleasure can be bad and everything that causes pain is bad. There are two types of hedonism psychological hedonism, and ethical hedonism. Psychological hedonism says it is psychologically impossible not to pursue pleasure and avoid pain. It is embedded in our psyche, in our soul. Ethical hedonism says that you have a moral obligation to seek pleasure and avoid pain, because hedonism is the natural state. People do not need to be taught to seek pleasure and avoid pain. You do need to be taught to avoid pleasure and embrace pain. For instance, parents punish us for not eating vegetables, but no one is ever punished for refusing dessert. As a natural state, it is the best state to live in. So we should pursue the blueprint embedded within us. To fight against our nature is wrong and painful. The duty of the philosopher is to define pleasure, because most people don't know what makes them happy. Many people do harmful things under the guise of pursuing happiness. Hedonism is a persistent philosophy. Aristippus, in the 4th century BC, founded Cyrenaic Hedonism. He advocated an unreflective pursuit of intense, immediate pleasure. Epicurus founded Epicurean Hedonism. He said the absence of pain, not the pursuit of pleasure, is the wise man's goal. The greatest good of all is prudence. Fast forward to the 18th century. The modern form of hedonism is utilitarianism. It's one of today's most pervasive philosophies. Oh, the lights are back on. Here's to a good week in philosophy.